The Toyota RAV4 Hybrid was nearly Australia's most popular car, just behind the Tesla Model Y, but hybrid SUVs remain very popular. Enter the Nissan X-Trail e-Power Hybrid, which I'll be testing long-term over 6 months and 10,000 kilometers. On a trip from Adelaide to Sydney, I had plenty of time to reflect on the car. My dog and I agreed that the X-Trail performs well, especially in terms of interior space. The cabin is spacious in both the front and back, making it an excellent family car. Although the 575L boot was a bit tight for our luggage, the flexible rear seats helped accommodate everything, including two adults, a baby, and a dog. The rear doors open wide, and the high ceiling made it easy to get my daughter in and out of her child seat. I've transferred the baby seat over 100 times without any issues. The interior has held up well after 17,000 kilometers, with only minor wear on the driver's door where I rest my elbow. The unbranded six-speaker stereo, however, was disappointing, leading me to switch to podcasts due to the poor sound quality. Thankfully, the TL model has a better 10-speaker Bose stereo. Driving the X-Trail e-Power is pleasant, with no suspension issues found in the Outlander. It performs well, thanks to the e-Power hybrid system and the absence of a CVT, making it quieter than rivals like the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. However, I noticed a pulsing issue during certain driving conditions, likely due to a lack of electricity being sent to the electric motors. Despite this, the AWD system made exploring national parks and campgrounds easy, though the lack of a spare tire was a drawback. Fuel efficiency averaged 7.4L-100 km, higher than the 6.1L-100 km claimed and less impressive than the previous diesel model. In comparison, our Toyota RAV4 Hybrid averaged 6.0L-100 km. Nonetheless, the X-Trail excels in its fundamentals, offering a practical interior, reasonable price, and availability. While the e-Power system may not be the most fuel-efficient, it provides a refined driving experience. Reflecting on my experience, the X-Trail reminds me of a family camping trip with a first-generation model. The modern X-Trail is larger but offers the same appeal with ample back seat space and a decent boot. First impressions of the cabin are positive, with comfortable, 